Excel gauge charts are an excellent way of displaying relative data in Excel. They can be a little bit boring though. In this next video, I'm going to talk you through how you can firstly produce an Excel gauge and then secondly, the two or three different things you can do to add to make it a little bit cooler and make it a little bit more unique. Let's have a look. Okay, before we do our chart gauge, uh, we have to set up a couple of tables. So the first table is our scale, which effectively tells us where our red, amber and green uh, sections of our chart are. The second one is our legend, which will detail out the numbers on the top of our uh, gauge. And then the third table is effectively for our pointer. So it lets us know the width of our pointer, but also the position of the pointer within the chart. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go up to the top of the ribbon and insert into the charts and then insert a donut chart just like that. OK, so this is picking up the scale information here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top right in chart elements and I'm going to take off the title and take off the legend. And then I'm going to select the donut chart and I'm going to right click and I'm going to format data series. And then I'm going to change the angle of the first slice just over here under the format data series. And I'm going to change that to 270 degrees and that will flip the donut chart around on itself. Next, I'm going to select this bottom section of the chart here. And then for fill options, I'm going to go no fill. So you can see that our chart is taking to starting to take shape. But what we want to do is we want to change these colors up on the top and we want to make it a little bit cooler and really kind of make it pop. So we want to change these colors and we're going to use gradient colors to grade them into each other. So the first section here on the right, this green section, I'm going to select that. Just make sure I select that on its own. And then I'm going to get down to the fill. Now, if you see the third kind of button down here, the gradient fill, we're going to select that. And what we're going to do is down here in the gradient stops element of this chart, I'm going to push one out to the side here and the second one I'm going to push to about 51%, but I'm going to change the color of these now. So the first one, I'm going to color that in a dark red. And then the second one, I'm going to go for a little bit of a lighter red color. So this one here, and that looks good. I'm just going to check the direction of that to make sure that works. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Then I'm going to go to my border and we're going to go no line. Then I'm going to select my next section of my donut chart, the top section here of the arch. Uh, for border, again, we want no line. And for fill then, again, similar to what we've done with the last one, we want gradient fill. But this time we want to start here with a light red. And then we want to add the next one, which may be more of a dark kind of an amber. We want to add a new gradient in there, which you just hit this little button here, which says add gradient stop. And another one here. And we want that to be amber as well. And then we want to add one more final one, which will put that towards the end. And we want that one to be a lighter green. Yep, that looks good. Next, we want to select our final segment of this pie chart, of this donut chart here. So we select this one here. Again, we want on the border, we want no line, and that just takes out that little line there. And we want a gradient fill. Now it's already pre-populated from the last segment we had. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove some of these first, and then we can play with this. So then we want their starting position, which was the light green that we had last time. And we want to move that into a, a darker green about a 66 percent i'm going to move that to darker green there yeah yeah that looks good the next chart we need to do is another donut chart which is effectively our legend so what we'll do is we'll right click on our existing chart select data then we want to add the series name is going to be legend and the series values are going to be from our table here on the right so all the way down to there and hit okay 
and OK. So what we need to do is just on the bottom section here, we just need to go over, select that, and then we need to go no fill to that. Then on this section here, what I'm going to do is going to add data labels to that. Yeah, so that's going to add in my data labels all the way here. Now, that isn't correct at the moment because effectively we want this to be going 10, 20, 30 and so on. At the moment, it's just in segments of 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on in there. I'm going to format data labels um, and I'm going to go over here to the right hand side of the screen and just tick this box which says value from cells. And I'm going to change that to this label values over here and hit OK. Now that doubles up the label values over here on our on our chart. So what I need to do is just untick these two boxes here and that will effectively then give us our new labels here. Now what I need to do is I need to reposition these labels uh, slightly up a little bit because at the moment they're in the middle of the segment and I need to move them up to basically where this little white line is. So I need to do that for each of those labels. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do that quickly and then come back to the video. OK, so I've moved all of those values around now and just made sure they're aligned to where they should be on the gauge. So next we're going to just select the um, second donut chart so I can see that all the area and down below is selected. And then we're going to go over to the right hand side of the screen and then we're just going to hit no fill to that. And then we also want to ensure that the border, there is no line there as well. So you can see that looks nice and clean now, it's starting to look like a gauge chart. So next we need to add in now our pointer. So what we'll do is we'll select that chart area again, right click, and then we want to hit select data and we want to add our final series. This is going to be called our pointer. Our data is going to be this data set here and then hit OK and then OK again. Now this automatically sets up as another donut chart. So what we want to do is select that data onto right click. We want to change the series type um, and you can see it's the bottom one here, pointer. We want to change that from a donut into a pie chart and then hit OK. So it's starting to take some shape now, but what we need to do is firstly, we need to select our pie chart. Then we need to change the angle of our first slice. So within the format data series table here, and we need to change that to 270. Next, we just need to kind of select these uh, sections of the pie. So if I select this purple section of the bottom first, I go over to the right hand side of the screen. I just want to unfill that. I'll then select these next two sections. So the right left hand side, we want no fill to that. And then the right hand side, no fill to that. So you can see already now our speedometer or our gauge chart is pretty much there. So we want to select our pointer and we want to change the color of that to black. And then the border, we want a solid line. And maybe we'll take the width of that down, go like that. Yeah, that looks good. So we have our target settings down here at the bottom. So if we want to change our current position on the gauge chart, we just need to enter that in here. So 75 and it'll flip around there like that. And that looks good. Okay, so now we have our gauge chart pretty much complete. We want it to really stand out from the rest of the gauge charts. So we're just going to add in two or three different elements to make it really stand out and look cool. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a background, like a gray gradient background. So I'm going to go to the top of the ribbon here, insert illustrations and shapes. And then I'm going to get down to basic shapes and select this icon here, which is a partial circle. So if I just scroll down ever so slightly and I want to just create a circle like that, I'm just going to use this twirly arrow then to rotate that around on its axis. And then we want to change this almost from like a Pac-Man to a semicircle. So I'm going to go around and just level that off like that. Now, what I want to do is I want to get this shape pretty much just over the side of the numbers here to just, just be slightly bigger than that. So I'm going to fast forward the video so I can just get the shape that I want right. So I'm pretty happy with that 
size of that semicircle now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy or make a copy of that just over to the right hand side and just leave it over there for the moment then go go back to this one um, and what i want to do is i want to change the basically the background color on that if i select that and go to shape format select down here i'm not going to select this gray kind of gradient color here um, and i want to remove kind of the background on that so if i go to my line and just hit no line on that and when i start to move that up you can see it actually goes over the graph so what i want to do is just right click on that and i want to send to back like that then when i move that up here you can see it'll just go on the background of our chart like that and that looks pretty cool then we want to get our second semicircle move that over here now this is going to be kind of the outline um, of that chart up above so i'm going to right click on that and i'm going to actually go to format shape and i want for the fill i want no fill on that but i want to just change the line and i want a gradient line uh, but i want to change these gradient types so i want a black on either side about right there and then a black on the other side then we're going to get rid of one of these kind of light blues move this light blue into the middle we'll change that to kind of a light gray yeah that looks good then we just want to change the direction maybe of our gradient maybe put that to the corners like that yep then we just want to make this border a little bit thicker so if i go down here i want the width i want to maybe make that up to yeah let's make it quite thick maybe a little bit is that up to seven i want to size this up because this is just going to go on the outside of our chart let's see what that looks like here do i size that up here so i'm just going to actually size this up to make sure that it, it kind of just covers the outside and looks a little bit better than it does at the moment so i'm just going to fast forward and do that now i think i'm pretty happy with that uh, the final two pieces that we're going to add to this then is we're going to insert illustrations shapes again and i'm going to go down to the bottom here where we've got flow chart i'm going to add in a circle draw a little circle like so and then when I go to the top the format shape I'm going to actually select down here and I'm going to get this kind of beveled kind of a uh, effect intense effect actually it's called there like that so when I bring that up here that's where my pointer is going to come out it's going to look a little bit cooler actually like probably let's make that a tiny bit bigger actually put that to the middle yeah like so and then the final piece that we're going to add in we're just going to add in just a little bit of a graphic over the side here again it just makes the the gauge pop a little bit and i've got it kind of over to the side here I've produced it earlier so if i move that over here again you can just create a semicircle outline and then you can create these little kind of indents on the top of that by creating your own shape let me put that up here into the middle that looks good so hopefully you'll be able to produce that yourself if not you can just download the file so hopefully you found that video useful there's a link down below in the description where you can get the file if you like that please hit like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next video